Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at a breakout little mini arcade by Hashi Toys. Awesome. Pretty cool. It actually takes coins to activate the game. How cool is that? Really nice box, I have to say. It has some really great artwork on here. This was only available in Japan. You really can't get it outside of Japan unless you import it. I happen to got lucky enough and found this at a store here in the States. I couldn't resist picking it up because I love these little mini arcade machines. Now take a look at the machine. It's actually pretty, pretty nice. Nice heavy plastic. Very simple controls down here. You can see the coin slot right there on top. There's a little micro switch in there. So when you push the coin in, It'll turn on the game and give you about three minutes of gameplay per coin. It'll take anything that'll fit inside this slot. A quarter, a penny, a nickel. It doesn't matter. As you can see, they moved the screen up front here to allow room for the coin box in the back. There's a little door in the back here you can take off to empty out the coins from inside. Pretty awesome. Let's take a closer look at the controls here. We have our joystick for left and right movement. We have a sound button, which is basically a mute button. Then we have a pause button, which will pause the gameplay. Then we have our start button to start the gameplay. We have a little reset button here that will reset the game. Uh, for example, maybe you want to play the game without putting a quarter in or a coin. You hit this little reset button right here to start the game up and play it. It does power down after about three minutes, though. The joystick control doesn't respond very well. I find if you push down on just a little bit, it doesn't quite respond very, very nicely. You have to uh, allow it to be sprung up to the top to move back and forth. So let's fire this thing up and uh, try playing the game a little bit, see what it looks like. Okay, let's start by putting my little Pac-Man arcade token into this thing. So we put it in the coin slot. So you can see it powers the game up. Now looking at the game screen, you can see right here this indicates if the sound is on or off. These little dots here indicate how many paddles you have left. Your score will be right over here. And then your play field is right down here. Hey, see every once in a while my paddle will get stuck, it's because I'm pushing down on the joystick into the, the base of the unit. And when you do that, it doesn't really respond too well. So actually I keep the joystick you know, pulled up to get it to respond. That's really the only downfall to this little unit here. Otherwise the game is a lot of fun to play. As you can see, as the bricks break through the top, oh! It shrinks down the paddle and speeds up the ball. So if I hit the pause button right now, as you can see, the game will pause. Hit it again to start playing. I'm going to hit the sound button. Get rid of that annoying sound. So I can play the game in peace. Oh, I missed. Daggone it. one more ball here. Last one. Whoa! Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh! 440 points. Oh, man! To summarize, uh, I do not like how the joystick works on this machine. You notice if you push down, it quits respond. You actually have to pull up on it a little bit and keep it up to get the controls to respond. Don't really care for that too much. It's uh, one of the bad things about this little 
desktop arcade. I do like the sound button, though. That's a godsend for this. The pause button is also a nice feature. We can pause the game and uh, take a break while you're playing. Now, overall, I really like this machine. Uh, I think it's, it's actually a pretty good machine to add to your collection. I like how the graphics look in the back. Uh, it is a backlit LCD, but it's very well done. Overall, it'd be a good machine to add to your collection if you like these little electronic mini arcades. It does look really nice. It's got some nice artwork on here. Not a bad looking little machine. Awesome. Thanks for watching.